Mr. Council President, Mr. Yes. Council, thank you very much. Yep. Um, so this afternoon, I think uh, Joy was interested and we as a team were interested in talking about a few things. Yep. Uh, we hope we wanted to get started um, with, with Kelly here to talk about the, uh, the school budget. Sure. First, and then yep. uh, we want to roll into um, the election boards to have a request. Mm -hmm. I have a couple other items mm -hmm. relative to uh, a summary overview of where we are with the budget, and then of course we're we'll looking to council for your decisions on uh, next steps so we can wrap this up and tie it all up and bring it back to you. Uh, but with that, I know that we entered some discussions, there were some questions that came up relative to the Board of Education budget, mm -hmm. um, the, the blueprint versus the supplemental request. Mm -hmm. uh, specifically, I know council, you took uh, action on the CIP request, which we can talk about uh, through this process, mm -hmm. but also you were concerned about specifically new positions. Right. And specifically in new positions, those that are required by the blueprint versus those that um, were put in um, in the supplement. Mm -hmm. So Kelly's here to answer questions. Thank and you. Help, help us get through it. So, so um, pr probably it was sort of my idea for you to be here, so I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. You know okay. I, I know. So we got we got we got jammed up a little bit on these positions. Okay. okay. And we got sort of so so what I, what I would like to do, um, if it's okay with everybody, let's kind of start at the bottom the um, the blueprint the blueprint um, requirements to make sure that everybody's on on the same wavelength on that. Okay. Okay. So. Um, so, Mr. Vice President, you want to go ahead and sort of read and make sure we've got everything straight on and everybody's on board, which we've already done this, but right. we want to make sure that, Kelly, if there's any information or, or what have you, and let's... Kelly have the yeah, 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 that's what, yeah, uh -huh. I've got that. Yeah. Okay. And we'll check, we'll check all these off, okay? We'll start off with special ed coach. So, so I guess our, our understanding on these, on these, it's 12 positions, mm -hmm. special ed coach, the career ladder uh, coordinator, um, uh, on down through uh, the English learner teacher and early childhood supervisor, mm -hmm. that, that these, are, these are positions that would be, uh, that would be covered by the, the county required Kerwin funding and in combination with the state blueprint funding. Right. So can I back up just yeah. a little bit sure. to help yeah. you sure. understand yeah. how we do this? So, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> we do our budget in October. <laughs> right. So yeah. when we did our budget in October, we look at our September 30th and we're all right. So the positions you have at the top were our development of a budget that was presented in December, okay. okay? And based on that enrollment and based on the needs that we saw at the time, that's where those top positions came from, okay? okay. So that's your EL, you had your two ELL, EL teachers and that's because we had 104 students enrolled um, in October that we didn't have in our September 30th enrollment and we knew that was gonna, um, most of them are secondary. So they're coming to us non-English in high school mm -hmm. um, and we had a student enroll in, in October who needed a sign language interpreter we're making do this year but it's not in our budget this year you right. know, that's not something you foresee um, mm -hmm. to happen but um, and then the speech and special education that was because of the increased hours we were seeing off of COVID and some of the things that kids were starting to be tested and so that top section came from there. Then of course when we get all the requirements of the blueprint yep. and we start learning more mm -hmm. in December, mm -hmm. January, mm -hmm. February mm -hmm. of all the things that we have to have done within the next two years. Right. You know, you gotta have all this done within the next two years. So that's when we started looking at, okay, what are the things that we're gonna need to be able to meet those requirements? Um, under the blueprint, okay. um, blueprint Kerwin House Bill thirteen hundred, whatever you want to call it, yep. mm -hmm. um, and uh, let's just take the first 
um, people, it's either a people personnel worker because they work with the family to help them connect them with services or a social worker. Mm -hmm. um, you know, one of the things that the blueprint requires is wraparound services for our kids. So we're going to be working with community partners. Mm -hmm. One of, there's a couple positions that we didn't put in our budget because it's coming from, um, from the blueprint, like the community after school coordinator. We have to have a nurse in our after school program at East Elementary School every day after school. So there's some positions that aren't in this local budget that we're going to need for blueprints. Okay. 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 Um, that are required by law. Yeah. Um, and the ones that were really required by law, we put it, we're using our blueprint money to do, but these were some that we know we're going to need just to get ourselves caught up. Uh -huh. um, so social worker was mine. Um, now, with that said, here's something that's, that could be done. Um, you know, I meet with Maria McGuire and Linda Webb um, every month. We have mm -hmm. uh, lunch and we talk because we serve the same families, right? Mm -hmm. So um, I remember six years ago, I went to Frida because um, we start serving children at birth. And I, we were serving about 56 kids from birth to age two. And Susan Hiles, our teacher, she was working with them, so she assesses them when she gets the referral from the doctor. Something is not developing correctly. We do the assessment, then we do, we provide the services. So she's a teacher, but not like a classroom teacher, you know what I mean, it's more one-on-one. -on -one. Or she gets them hooked up to services. Well, about six years ago, we saw that number climbing um, drastically. Uh, to the point where we were almost up to 100 and we needed more help. So Frida and I talked and she helped us get another infant and toddler person. It's not in the school budget, but it's, 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 like, a, it's like an MOU or like an agreement we have with the health department. Um, so that's something we could do with social workers because ultimately you know, what we want is our families to get hooked up to the community services. Mm -hmm. Because it's sometimes when you have a child in need, mm -hmm. it's not just the child that needs, it's the whole family that needs. Um, they're only with us 180 days a year, six hours a day. There's another 185 days out there, you know, uh, that they're not. And a lot of times, once you get into finding out the root cause of any child that might either be behavioral or they're lacking in attendance or discipline or academics, sometimes you find things happening at home, you know? Um, and, and that's why you need to make sure you're intervening and getting to the root cause. Mm -hmm. So that we're asking for because we also know if they're not with us present mindset, they're not gonna learn, right? So we know we have a lot of work to do because to get them CCR in 10th grade, we have a lot of work to do from birth through 9th grade. You can't just wait to 9th grade and have everybody ready to roll. So the special ed coach, um, those, that position's in there for the pure fact that we are on a fast track, according to the blueprint, to try to intervene earlier with our students to start getting more kids to exit special education or to get some of the, to intervene earlier before they become, get into special education. So these, the, these two people that we identified goes right into that philosophy of the blueprint. Intervene early, work with your teachers, work with your uh, teachers on best strategies, but also work with your special ed teachers in really making sure that we're working towards compensatory education to get them to exit. So if you look at the blueprint the, and you look at the trajectory, you know, the goal is, is to intervene as early as you can and to get more, and we've had that happen. I had a parent come to you one year, it's been several years ago, who, she's a perfect example. Her child was in special education up until second grade, exited, and then in sixth grades and gifted and talented. So it can happen, you know, because mm -hmm. developmentally, there just might be, there may need to be some, things in there to help the child learn to compensate mm -hmm. for either a learning disability or they're just developing at a slower rate. So we just need to get them where they need to be. Now that's not all students. Now, if you're born with as Down syndrome or intellectually disabled, you're not gonna make that, that leap. But that's what the special ed coaches are. And also 
we want to keep our special education teachers. And what's happening is we're, we're having some special education teachers flip to county to county. And that's causing us, we're seeing that in our, our um, HR. So we feel like this would also help keep them more focused and staying here if they have more support. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Behavioral specialist goes right back to that PPW. We have, a, we have one behavioral specialist um, in our district. We need more because we have kids that have really been traumatized. I'll be honest with you. Mm -hmm. um, and I was just sharing with Mr. Davilio, um, that we have this behavioral specialist that we have now is for special education. It's to do some of those behavior plans with students that might have an individual education plan. But we're seeing some students that aren't special education that needs a behavior intervention. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, that's another example of maybe with the health department or social services, us working together to see if we can figure out a way to make that happen. I'm all about community partners, you know that. Um, and uh, we have fantastic relationships. Uh, but that's something that's really needed. We're seeing now, um, as I just shared with you, you know, we had four bomb threats at Easton High School. We caught all four. All four we caught. Um, they're not who you think they would be. They're kids that get straight A's and B's, not one discipline referral. So some kids are acting out. Some kids are anguished inside and I need attention another way. Um, but it's disruptive. Right? Oh, it's hugely, hugely. Um, so can I ask a question mm -hmm. with that with that example? Mm -hmm. What what is the consequences of me throwing a bomb threat? So if there's a bomb threat, um, several things happen. Um, they're arrested for a uh, threat of mass destruction, okay. which is a very serious right. uh, charge. Right. Um, most of the time referred to DJJ. Okay. Juvenile justice, to okay. be honest. Okay. Um, they're they're suspended and put up for expulsion. Okay. Um, now, with that said, you're still you're still responsible for educating them, right? So we don't. What we do is we normally they don't go back to their school. We have to either do a tutor or alternative or some kind of education. It can be virtual. So you just can't kick kids out. So when you expel them, you still have to be with them. Yeah. Well, you still have to provide them an education. Public education. Yeah. Got to provide them a public education, and then we also make them pay restitution. So. So. Um, so, so. So they'll have to pay. Like, how much does it cost for the drug dogs to come? How much does it cost for the bus drivers to come in if we have to evacuate to a different site? Now the law says we can only charge them up to twenty five hundred dollars. It costs us about seven thousand. But the law would say to you if that child is you know 17 18 years old and when as a senior and did that and, and, and that and that child or it would be in jail we still have to educate oh absolutely them. we educate students in jail now absolutely we have a tutor that goes to the jail we had a young girl get, a, get her degree while in detention center yes last year yes so what i'm saying to you is we do do all of that um which explains why the budget is so big. When you have to educate. <laughs> well, that's why I'm asking the question. Yeah. Yes. To I help mean, educate yeah. myself. I know. Yeah. And that's, I, I that Does it make first? sense to me? It first. doesn't make sense to me in a certain way. Yeah. Don't, don't get me wrong. I know. But, you know. It's the law. Right. I'm just. Yeah, it's right. constant. So when we start at first, and, and we do, and, and I'll be honest with you, we're a very small community. We're very blessed because we have doctors contact us right away or have parents you need to go to the school and go through the child find process and get your child assessed we start immediately because there's some of the things that we can intervene early and they they don't have they don't need any special attention if we intervene early um but we also go to 21 if they have if they're on a certificate of attendance and they have special needs so we're talking about birth through 21 including the ones in jail um we do it all that's what we do. Okay. So, okay. Okay. My question is this: I'm looking at the same, the same sheet here. Uh -huh. um, the heading for blueprint is the, the third, the third column, mm -hmm. the row, if you mm -hmm. want. Um, so you mentioned the social, the social worker, and the behavioral specialist. Those aren't in blueprint as a required position, correct? Well, there. 
they're not, they're not specifically written in blueprint but again what i'm saying to you is if we don't have the kid in school with full attention we're not going to be able to meet the blueprint requirements okay. so when you think about a social worker and a behavior specialist it's helping us get all the kids ready to learn mm -hmm. and getting them to school in school to be able to meet them does that make sense so those oh, yeah, make, those were two positions wanna... that to me were we have seen a spike mm -hmm. in in referrals mm -hmm. in i mean right now we have we have now seven mental health community partners we used to only work with the sps right. now we work with six others yeah, four um, season, yeah we do and, we, and, and, we have a waiting list so and then and then uh that bottom row uh, then the bottom one the, 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 the uh, 816 is that 816 captured in your Kerwin money um, which one are you looking at? Uh, um, that one there? No, those those are not. Those now, are not some of them might. Some of them, parts of some of them might be. Can you, can we can you do you know which parts are in are captured in Carolyn of the eight sixteen? So out of this money here that's in our budget that we've presented to you, right. these these positions are not in the money that we're using. The money that we're using from the Kerwin is for the salaries to increase and also for some of the positions that aren't in here but are required in Kerwin. Like the community, um, the community, um, what's that person called? Community school coordinator, okay. um, a nurse. Um, there's, uh, let me think of a couple other positions. There's a couple other positions that are in there. But the, um, implementation coordinator, some of those are not on this piece of paper. Does that make sense? Okay. That's can I ask a question? Yes. Hi. Hi. Um, so, all of this 1.474 million dollars not all of which is due to the blueprint correct is it your supplemental none of these monies other than other than maybe a small percentage of it is within the increase in the Kerwin funding that you're going to receive for the next fiscal year correct so to me it's very troubling especially with those 12 positions at the bottom if they are required due to blueprint they should be covered with blueprint money I mean, they built it for that reason. So what went wrong? I mean, that's another almost million dollars. I mean, if you, you know, the, you're putting in the middle section, you're putting pandemic related, and that, you know, hopefully is going to be something that's not forever, right? So we talked yesterday about possibly putting those in the health department's budget or something like that, so that it wouldn't become a part of quote unquote maintenance of effort and, and change the per pupil. But I'm really, really troubled that the fact that there's over $800,000 in positions that you're telling us are required under the blueprint that aren't funded under the blueprint with a huge increase that's going to come every single year. Okay. I don't understand what went wrong. Okay. Well, let me first clarify. These positions on this paper under blueprint are not required in blueprint as a position. Their required blueprint is requiring us, for an example, let me use career ladder. Uh, coordinator. Mm -hmm. Blueprint is requiring us to get every instructional assistant with an AA degree or a certified a certification for early childhood. They're requiring all the teachers become nationally board certified. Mm -hmm. They're requiring, I mean, there's a lot of requirements. Those requirements are in Blueprint. I only have two people in my HR department. With those new requirements, I'm saying I need a person to help with that to get that done you can't just so, assume that their pe sure. teachers that's are going to do that on their own volition yes research yeah. in all the different departments that's correct they didn't they didn't, they didn't it through. identify these positions they and did not i feel like you know as the schools were following along i assume the different boards of education they should have been there again this is past tense but maybe you need to go to the legislature and say y'all didn't get it enough it needs to be a higher amount i'm not going to be thrilled that in fact it's a higher amount but and you've heard me say this for the last couple of years since curly came along we shouldn't have to have this discussion every year if it's required because of blueprint then it should be funded under blueprint and they got it wrong i you know, i totally it, agree and we did go to them i personally testified as Pazam president which is the superintendent's association we let them know that we would not have enough to get all of this done in the timeline that they want it all done. 
Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a huge, un it's a huge undertaking. Do I agree that some of it needs to get done? Absolutely, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. um, but especially when I took my eighth graders down to junior achievement uh, career fair and found out that every one of the trades makes $60,000 or more, I think I sent you that text, um, I was just like, oh my gosh, no wonder I can't find teachers. Um, but you're absolutely right, Laura. I, I, I understand what you're saying, but I wanna make sure that you guys understand what I'm saying. These specific positions are just not like written in the blueprint, but some of the requirements in the blueprint, I know I can't pile more on to people to do. Um, therefore, right. I would say that because of the requirements of the blueprint, I'm going to need another person in HR to help me get yeah, this done. I'm with you. And you need to keep squawking to them. You need yes. to be contacting the legislators. And you know, if it's if it's you know, the state is the one who passed this. Look, the counties um, are on the hook. You know, as a basically 50-50. Obviously, we know Tomba County funds you know over 70 percent of it, but generally it's 50-50. This was you know what Mako said a couple of years ago was that if the state is requiring this, then the state should pick up the additional expense. If they'd gotten it this wrong, and for us, we're talking about we would have gone up, what, $3 million with Kerwin, and you're asking for another two, the vast majority of it is due to the things that you have that you have to do, then, then somebody should be putting in legislation to, to say, you know what, state, you didn't get it right. And, and after the three years of, of Kerwin, then they had a year, and I attended every single one, about the funding mechanism and heard the conversations of how to pay for it. Well, and I, just, right, so so, I am I, meeting with Rachel Heiss, not me personally, but all the superintendents, just so you know, we are advocating. All the superintendents are meeting with Rachel Heiss, Britt Kerwin, and Ike Leggett on Friday, and again on May 14th. So we have not stopped requesting more funding to get this done, mm -hmm. just so you know, okay. um, because yeah. it's a lot of accountability. Yeah, I, and I think what, I'm sorry, I, no, I'll finish up with that. I think all we we were interested in knowing is what was mandated in Kerwin for, for this fiscal year that we're going into. Mm -hmm. And if you're saying that the 816 is not mandated, but you need them to get ready for Kerwin, then that's, that's, a, that's the distinction that I needed to hear. Yeah. yeah. Go, that's right. Exactly. Okay. Right. Go, go, go ahead, um, Mr. Velio. And so let me talk through this for a second, and then you tell me if I'm right or not. So we're, we're looking at this sheet. There's 23 positions, mm -hmm. one and a half million dollars. Mm -hmm. The bottom half, there's 12 out of the 23 and 816,000 of it that you have to hire up, you need that money to implement the blueprint requirements. Mm -hmm. So then, then I'm looking at 11 employees or 11 new positions mm -hmm. and about $600,000 mm -hmm. due to changing demographics and That's mental health of the students. Mm -hmm. Out of those 11, we're looking at shopping just three out to a separate, pulling it out of the school budget to stick it over in another way so that that way we're not contracted, mm -hmm. contracted mm -hmm. services. Mm -hmm. And when I think about what has happened in the last couple years with education, the mental health is not going to just snap back because we're talking about fourth graders, fifth graders, sixth graders, we're talking about seventh, eighth, ninth graders. We're, these kids are going to be in the system for a while. It's going to take some time to settle things down and get them back on track. And I'm, I'm concerned with, I want to make sure that you're robust enough to handle that, but, but not too much because hopefully we'll, mental health and things will calm down. Mm -hmm. But I, I think I want to make sure that the educators, the administrators, and the students are safe right now if there were any outbursts, if, there, mm -hmm. if, if that happened. And I, when I look through this, the behavioral specialist would do that. They would be able to immediately address the situation. So then, so we're, you're doubling that mm -hmm. from what you have. Mm -hmm. The social workers. That they, would make sure that every school has one. If okay. We did that, and that's my goal. That, now, okay. Uh, yeah. Then I'm, I'm, I'm. And that that was a goal. Yeah. To try to do that to to make sure that we had that in place. Because relationships is huge. Yes. When you're trying Comfort. to de-escalate a situation, if you already have a social worker that knows the family, it makes it so much better to be able to handle the situation. Mm -hmm. And also our administrative interns into APs because then it's a whole nother level and a whole nother level of training. 
Okay. And that's huge. I, I and that's in that. my budget. Yes, yeah. I remember that, that being in well. there. Okay, so you really are addressing the safety issue, the educational issue, and the current standing mental health issue, which leads to safety and downgrades education. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And, sure. and, you know, and I just want to make sure that you all understand that the positions, there are some positions required in Blueprint, and they're in here, okay. but they're in Blueprint money, yeah. not in what we're asking from you. Uh -huh. These are positions that I know that that are coming here over here. Well, right. that we're going to need to start working on right. because you can't you can't just do it overnight. If everything has to be done by 2026, I know that sounds far away. It's really not, especially when you're thinking about having to ramp up all your curriculum, get all your teachers nationally board certified. You know the things that you have to do. You, I need some help doing it. Now I won't be here, but. Mm -hmm. Whoever is going to be here, I know sure. that these are the needs okay. um, that they're going to need. And, and the EL, English language learner population, I put that down at the bottom. It probably isn't blueprint, but, you know, the bottom line is to get them CCR re ready by 10th grade, it's not going to happen if they enroll in ninth grade. Um, you know, so I just see that population growing um, every single year. Um, so I know that's something we're just going to need more people to help us with. It's, it's okay. difficult. Okay, two further questions, Wendy. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, Laura. So one, and, and again, I've said this before, um, you know, one, the main goal of Kerwin was to start taking our teachers far and away. I mean, we love um, all of the staff that, that works, but ones who teach our kids are the most important, and that was the premise behind Kerwin is to get them to, you know, whatever, 60,000 or, or certain higher level of staff. So when we're doing the increases right now, the teacher increases should be higher than the rest of the staff. That was the purpose is to start spreading those out into in order to incentivize people to become teachers. So I haven't spent enough time to see if everybody's getting the same percentage increase, and look, I understand when we're doing salary increases too, it is hard to find people, but there should be a differential between what we're giving the teachers and what we're giving the rest of the staff. So if we, you know, we're talking about going up about $5 million, which is a huge increase, like a 10% increase in the school budget. That's going to be on the backs of our taxpayers, period. We don't have it in the budget to do this, anything additional that we have to give the schools, and it will be every year, Kerwin goes up significantly. If you then have to do supplemental budgets of one, two, and three million dollars every single year, you're starting to talk about putting, you know, and we have a sheet on this, you know, on an average $300,000 home, you know, an extra, I think, with a two and a half cent supplemental, I'm not sure if that gets us enough money, you know, $122 for, on a $300,000 house. Two and a half cents might not be enough, but that is meaningful. So what I guess, when coming back to the question is, I, I, I would like it if you could come back um, as we're going through public hearings and whatnot and find places in the budget where you might be able to find more savings. Okay, maybe I can't increase some of the staff 6%, maybe we're only gonna be able to do 4% in order in order to pay for some of these things you have in the supplemental. That's one question to, to, to marry on and think about as we go through this budget. Um, and if you know this is a million and a half dollars, what could you live with? Because I can't know that we're just gonna all say, yes, we can do all of these things, plus the CIP, plus the other $500,000 and other supplemental, plus the capital expense, expenses with you know school roofs and things like that going on in the ongoing debt service it's a lot kelly M mrs price we need if, help we need we need some help and some prioritization if you can if 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 the six percent on the table is just pegging with infl inflation and we need to uh, do more for the teachers what would you like to put on the table a certain percentage I'm just saying you have different levels of, of staff and I know that we need to do adjustments um, but it, it is the whole premise behind this was to is is to stretch that differential in order to incentivize and 
I remember it was two or three years ago, the year zero of Kerwin, when what we were required to do to get the matching funds from the state was to do 3% for the teachers. And it didn't go that way. Everybody got 3%. And I said something about that because that wasn't its purpose. If, if you go through this. Are there, are there other things in the budget? You know, I like to talk about zero-based budget. And right now it seems like whatever's in our budget, we, can, we accept, okay, fine, none of that should go away. Well, maybe because we are migrating towards Kerwin and different things and we have different needs, maybe some of the other things in the budget should be looked at. When, you know, maybe we, maybe this, these positions, okay. these 23 positions let, let are more priority if we can. than something else that's already currently in the budget to try to compromise and split the difference with us a little bit. Okay, so, all right. So we're at where we're at. Um, thank you, Laura. I appreciate that. Uh, you know, I think everybody does agree with wh where you're headed with this, and and so does Kelly. I'm not speaking for her, but she totally understands what we we we're getting at. Kelly, um, I, I think you have done an excellent job explaining this and it's helped me understand this. Okay. So I'm going to ask you a, a question. Um, you've told us your needs mm -hmm. and, your, and your wants. So, so let me ask you just a, a broad question. So you're asking for two EL teachers. You're asking for four. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so what I'm telling you is that top section right, right. Is, yeah. a, is the priority right away. Yeah, yeah. Um, the middle section is, is yeah, a true need yeah, because uh -huh. of where we are. Yeah. And the bottom is what we're going to need to do to get the to, 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 to implement it. Right. So, so that's my tiers. So, right. So you would ask me to come yeah, back with no that. No problem. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. So would, would, you, would, you be, would you be open? And I'm just asking mm -hmm. the question. Right. Um, and, and council can you know, jump in on this a little bit to, to help massage this. Mm -hmm. could, could we live with... Um, El two two teachers for now. Mm -hmm. Can can we live with? Um, I love Corey's idea yesterday about um, you know can you work with us that 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 the the um, health department helps us with mm -hmm. with the one hundred ninety thousand mm -hmm. the health department we're right. we're we're gonna we're gonna work with see yeah. see if that works with her or Linda, you, or, or Linda. Or Linda. I'm I'm sorry yeah, uh, right either Linda either one. Either one. yeah either one and and for, for now. Because we can build from this, other councils can build from this. Can you live with three coaches, instructional coaches, instead of five? Yeah, absolutely. And then okay. we, we can see where so where we're going with this. That we can, we can. Yeah, I, I totally understand what you're saying. Yeah. It's just you know, yes, we can. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, okay. So is this a priority tier? You just said that, Kelly. The top section, the 468, is your number one priority. The middle section, the second. And the other ones, maybe you don't, maybe we don't do them this year. Maybe we just do a couple of them this year, and then next year, look at that bottom section. That one here, and you said this is a priority list. Right. That that's yeah. kind of what she's saying. That's so. what I'm saying. Now, yeah. on, on the top section, we did just get a grant for some gifted and talented work that I could mm -hmm. do some transitioning from middle okay. school to high school. Okay. So you know, here's what I'm going to say to you. Yeah. I personally, I, this is not my budget. This is no, the board. I understand. Budget, so I, I understand. understand that. Yeah. And I did invite Michael and Susan. But right. I, yeah. I want you to understand. Mm -hmm. I presented a budget in December. They've made it their budget. Okay. okay. Um, what I also want to say to you is I think the board needs to prioritize which positions are the most important. Gotcha. Okay. I'm just sharing you my thinking. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and I shared with that with Clay today yep. that if it was me sitting at the table, you know, mm -hmm. that the, the GT, I think we can do with the grant that we just got. Because okay. I am always writing grants so that we don't have to come to you for things. Um, Great. So but if we gave you, if we said, I'm going to throw out 500000 or we said $750,000, then, then it think, is up to you to do with, with, with that. So I think that's you know, exactly think right. That's exactly so, right. So so with, with being that said, there's there's sort of... You know, we 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 can we can all live with. There's six you know six more jobs there that are five to six that we can do in the next couple of years. Mm -hmm. So you want to do a number? You want to propose a number and ask them to do the sorting? I mean, if 
you're at 1.4, uh -huh. the number council would want to come back? Is that a way to go about this? Or? Well, I think you could do that. I think what, what I would suggest is you do exactly what you said. You know, you give a number, Laura, what Laura just said. Uh -huh. Laura, I think you're right. spot on. Yeah. You say to the board, so. you know, I know you're asking for 1.4. We're willing to give you seven or eight this yeah. year with the understanding that we'll add a couple, little bit more the following year and the following year to get blueprint in. Yeah. Um, I think that's, then the board decides which, they're the subject which matter positions experts. they're going yep. to right. determine right. Um, that they will be able to, uh, that they need based on the board's discussion. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to make those decisions for the board. Right. Uh, I'm, so a, I'm just a consultant. Yeah. <laughs> if, I throw out a, if I throw out a number of, of half that 750, with the understanding that probably we're going to try to do 190 through social services or health department or whatever, which actually would only end up at 550 or 575 to the actual Board of Education, understanding that those two or three positions would be funded through another mechanism, you know, then you could, then you all could decide without that middle section which ones you feel you need the, the most. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly how I think it should happen. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I think you're spot mm -hmm. on, Laura. So you yeah. have a proposal, Council, 750000 move the 190 out to subcontract mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. those services. Mm -hmm. The remaining balance would be given to the Board of Education mm -hmm. to prioritize mm -hmm. the positions. Um, I agree with that. I'm an I. You can we go and close and then discuss it? Since it's personal now. Well, it's, but we're not picking the positions. It's just a number. I just want to again want to remind that the numbers that you're looking at are salaries only. Right. Okay. We yeah. Need to right. Right. yeah, we knew cost. that. You said that. You said right. that. That's right. Right. So there's yeah. still fixed charge attached mm -hmm. to it. So mm -hmm. you've got to throw about another hundred and fifty thousand dollars. And I can get you that number right. as soon as I get back to the office. I can send that to you, Joy. Or have Sarah's in the Okay. Mm-hmm. While you're still sitting here, we'll Kelly. Over. I'm uh, sorry, Laura. While well, you're still today. sitting here, there's about okay. another uh, okay. approximately half a million okay. dollars in other supplemental. Can you just give a just a it's quick right. overview and a priority okay. on that from your perspective? Which one is which one are you referring to? Wasn't the supplemental two point one million dollars? And here's one and a half of it right here. It is, but uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Laura, um, The one point four is just salaries. So if you gross, if you add benefits to that, okay, mm -hmm. I. Yeah, we usually do about 38 to 40 percent okay, for so, fixed charges. So that, that gets you to two million, two point one million. Okay, so then the supplemental ah, is all. That's what I don't know. <laughs> yeah. When I asked that same question yesterday, yeah. is this number and that the number the same? Mm -hmm. So it's the benefits mm -hmm. are not included in this. Right. Number. So right. what 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 I'm that trying to sense. so I think that. that makes sense. With that said, and mm -hmm. let me share with you, mm -hmm. and Laura, I am definitely with you on a zero-based budget, and, and we start that way. I make people come in and justify their needs. Sure. Uh, so with that said, I want you to know, you know, there are things that we have in the budget. We had to increase special ed nursing services because we have some students that enrolled that are too fed or have to have a nurse. So that's another couple, like a quarter million dollars. Mm -hmm. We have four buses to buy. I mean, there was more things in our budget, but at the same time, we also, you know, we made cuts in other areas, and we also wrote for some grants to take care of some things, mm -hmm. or use some of our ESSER money to take care of some things that we needed. Mm -hmm. So I just want you to know, we didn't just start with last year's budget and then just add to it. We did go back and make okay. um, that's that's fair. No, fair enough. No, but I don't think anybody knows that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we public, never start. Public wise. Yeah. We don't yeah. just no. start with, um, you know, let's look at last year's budget. What else do we want? You know, yeah. No, yeah. you can't. Yeah. No, you can't do that. You, you certainly can't do that when you're in a business with 786 employees. I mean, you right. know, right there, a five percent health insurance increase. Right. Is, absolutely. Is a million dollars, absolutely. You know? Absolutely. So you have to go back and you have to say. You know, what is it at the school level you can cut? What is it at the curriculum level that we can make some adjustments? Where can we use some grants or ESSER funds to pay us some things? So we definitely okay. did scrutinize. I just want you to know. Okay, so, 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 so. where we are is you, you on the table is 
750,000. But that's not on the table. That's what she said. That's what she said. So why, why don't why don't why don't we if why don't we let's hold that discussion? And I think everybody, I think it's been a great conversation. You've helped all the council people understand where you're at okay. and understand what Our you're thinking. you're thinking. Mm -hmm. And that's what I needed. Anytime you want me to come back next year, I, won't <laughs> I might need you every day. I might need you every day. You know. <laughs> So. One, one very quick question. You mentioned just now that you might have a grant for gifted and talented instructor. What I would like is no matter what number we come up with, if, if one of those things becomes grant funded, right. you can let us know. Oh, absolutely. So we can right. not, then, we cannot, then we can subtract it out of the budget because we have a little bit of, of time. Okay. okay. We'll do. I, I will do. We'll do. Appreciate it. As Thank you. Past. Thank you, Kelly. Do. Okay. Appreciate and, it. And if you come up with other questions. Okay. You know where to find me? Can you sit out in the car? No. <laughs> okay. okay. That'd be good. Call me. I'm good. Okay. All right. Good. Thank you, Dal. Like yeah. yeah. That'll get you. I got two brand new knees. I don't need to be getting any other, any other issues. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank okay. Thank you. All right. Do we need to go and close or just keep on going? Yeah. We keep on going? Okay, so can I, can I go back just to, to this sheet okay. here? Okay. To this sheet here to ask a question. So, I'm um, uh, uh, just going back into Laura's point. Okay. Uh, so, if we look at the supplemental, FY23 uh, supplemental, it's 2.2 2. Uh, 2 .2 million. Um, so, Joy, it's, it's, jump, jump in, help me out. Okay. Yeah, so, so, the supplemental. Uh, request is actually 2.112. Okay, so this sheet is wrong. So 2. No, point, well, it be. I'm looking at this sheet right here. It's, it says 51.1. Yeah. Okay. And so tell me what it should be. Don't don't. Okay. So so what should it be? So when you look at that 2.2 million, uh -huh. that includes the implementation coordinator. Well, which is a requirement. Which is a requirement. Uh, uh, so that's you why I'm pointing out. If you go to the middle oh, section oh, oh, of the front sheet, it says 2.115609. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Let let Laura let 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 Corey speak for one second because he's got to get it in his head what he's doing. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. So, am I on the wrong sheet, or should I go grab another sheet? I think I believe you look at this. It says 2.2 on my supplemental. Okay. FY23 supplemental says 2.2. I didn't know about it. I just. Okay. Can I give so you a Yes. Yes, okay. I would. That would help me out for minutes. Yeah. So, what, what, where's, where's, I don't see 2.1. I don't see 2.1. I'm going to stop them right there. Where, where do you see? Where do you see? My brain is back in the That's right there. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Do you have that right there? Okay. Uh, uh, nope, nope, it is, it's, yeah, okay. Okay. It is, so it 1. is this 1. one. Oh, that it is one. This okay, one. so in, in the 2.1, 2.115, uh, that's what I was, 2.1, yeah, and that, so, yeah, that, that, this, this is the, the old one, this is the updated one. So it, 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 so it is, so it's, it's jumped up here. Stuff yes, okay. correct, yeah. that's the correct amount. I know it's not, I know it's not in there. Okay. Hold on, he has, so he's going to make a copy. That, that, that's, that's the correct amount right there. Yeah, yeah. So I, yeah. Um, let me find what freaking out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. We'll get there. Founder. Got it. Founder. I stapled it together. There you go. All right, so we're going to write one now? Oh, he so took yours. <laughs> So maybe so you know the number I'm talking about. So in in, in this in this 2.1 supplemental, okay. So the um, the 1.4 that we have on their sheet for the 23 positions is baked into this 1.4. That's what Kelly. Okay, that's what I want to make sure we all on the same yeah, yeah, same yeah. on the same sheet of paper. Right. You know. So in this is the uh, 1.4. Uh, 1.4 1. 4. Yeah. without without the bennies correct, correct. without the bennies correct. okay what you're saying is roughly 30 percent well she's so closer to 40 percent yeah. does Ken say closer to 40 yeah. right. okay so what's my 
So what is that? What is that? What did you, she, said you get? she said about another two, a total one, two, 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 two one. one. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's about another six hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars. And, that, and that's the whole supplemental. These positions plus the banners. That's what. Okay. I'm gonna make sure we sing the same sheet of paper. Okay. So okay, none of that. That's straight. This this bottom section here, this mm -hmm. blueprint, was not presented that way. Can I say honesty, or can I say ethically, or can I say, you know, we were told <laughs> this is says do now. the blueprint. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now we're hearing okay. it's not. Do the blueprint. We've asked when we had Dr. Einhorn and Sarah in here, we were told these would do the blueprint. Now we're finding out, no, they're not do the blueprint. We would like to do them to get us to where we want to be in six years or four years. It's what they think they need to fully implement. Yeah, the I know, but it, I mean. At the end of the day, I heard that that, they, they can yeah. get, it sounded like they can. We can shave, so can, net, net, I'm, I feel like. To what you were saying, Chuck, do we need to give you four EL teachers now? If you got two up here and you're Friday one, give them the two this year. And let's see how we can break this number down a bit to get to a more reasonable number. If it's not required in blueprint, then don't present it. This shouldn't even been here. This label shouldn't even been here. Because it's not required in blueprint. It's to get you to where you want to be. So my suggestion, and I know we voted on this, now that I have better information, I can't vote to approve this whole 816. I can't lend my support to it. Um, because if it's not required, I would like to see what we can do to shave these numbers down a bit. I'm not saying eliminate the whole you know, uh, 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 816. Maybe to Laura's point, we say, we give you 600,000 minus the 190. Right. If you want to take some up here, some down there, have at it. So let's just say, it's built off what you're saying, Mr. Pack. Huh. At the 816, that's, that's where they need to be in 26. So let's backtrack the 816 and verse back to where we can get them to the 816, but now only give them, you know, somewhere around like 275. So what, the, the, the number, well, you, the it, number. The number of, so, of the eight sixteen. Yeah, yes. Well, but so, are you going to go ahead? I'm, I'm, I'm still. I'll still give my vote for the top half here. The yes. six. The six. I'll still, yeah, I do. I'll still, uh, I agree. I'll still yes. leave my vote uh -huh. intact for that. Yes. Uh -huh. I'll still leave my vote intact for the one ninety to sub it out. Yes. But right. I'm, I'm going to pull my vote for the eight sixteen at this time, Mr. Yep. President. Yeah. And, until we until we figure out what we really need to do with that eight sixteen. I, I I would sort of. So, okay. Well, go ahead. Vote. So if if there. Do you want? Do you want to simply divide that in four? Is that the is uh, that's hey, so that I, is sixteen? Yeah. What, what so I, I just did that. I just okay. did that. So okay. if you got the four sixty eight plus the two, two if you had two hundred thousand dollars a year, uh huh, right? So that's six sixty eight plus um, you know, plus some benefits, but that's still probably a little rich for our blood. So maybe it, maybe because maybe you don't divide it exactly by four because you really have to ramp up as you get closer. Maybe you're doing more like. 125 and 150 this year, and then closer to 200, and, and you do a little bit incrementally mm -hmm. more, but that'll be the next council. Mm -hmm. You know, we're still four years out. Mm -hmm. So maybe you do. Because whatever number you know, you're giving, you got to add 40% to. Yeah. Correct. So if you want to Correct. add 200, Correct. Correct. Just give, them, give them three, right. 325, so, something like that. Right. Uh -huh. so, so yeah. Say make it, one fifth, make, make it 150 so that we have like around $600,000 plus benefits. That's kind of what you, and I'm actually putting something on the table and normally I would just say zero, right? So I'm saying 600K plus benefits. Um, you, you, are, you, are you saying that for, are you saying that for tier one and tier three? Are you saying that for the top priority and the bottom priority? Because we've got three so, that want to we're, we're, pulling the, we're pulling the 190 out, right? Pull yes. the 190 out. Pull yeah. the 190 okay. out. We all agreed right. to do the 468 and do the 190 on the side. On the side. Right. So right, right now we're just debating two, on how much we want to three, do out of the 816. Yes. Right. We're only talking right. about the 816. Oh, about the 816. So how much, how much can we live with with the 816? And, and keep in mind adding the 40, the 40 percent. That's that's. Well, that's 100, $150,000 plus Benny's is around another 200,000 dollars. So you're saying 150. I mean, that's full. Still a lot of money, and I still want to see what it means on the education supplement before we get to a final on this. 
And I think that, that might be a way right now. Uh, what I'd like to know from Joy is if we just did, plus if we just did Kerwin, the 45.9, if there was no supplemental, how much is the education supplement on 45.9? And then we go from there and decide how much do we want to raise people's taxes? So 150 gives you 210 when you had the benefits in. So, so somewhere around between 200 and, and, to, and 250 for the next four years to get them to where they need to be. Yeah, if, if we if we we're backloading it by doing only 150 yeah, yeah, now, it right. means it means yeah. more next year or the year after. Right. So let the next council deal with that. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. A quarter. You want you want a quarter? A third? Two. Well, they, again, they've got four years to get there. You don't have to do right, 25 Can we say 250? 250. 250. Get, what do you think about 250? Well, I was at 150 plus benefits, which is just over 200. And they're, you know, if they're having meetings with Rick Kerwin and Rachel Heiss and all that kind of stuff, they need to be lobbying the state for some of okay. the Yeah, I, I agree. I say a net, a, yeah. a, a gross, a total of 250 out of the bottom category. Okay. okay. It's good. All right. Two fifty. Okay. Let, let, let's, including let's, benefits, right? Including yes. benefit. Yes. Yes. That's yes. Yes. that's that's including gross. Benefits. The grand yep. total of two fifty. Uh, yeah. So that's including that benefits, Joy. Yeah. So whatever that so works out to. Just a point of clarification on the first two tiers, four sixty eight and one ninety. You're approving that with benefits as well. Yes. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So that one ninety has to have plus forty percent on that. We're gonna sub that out, and then plus forty percent up yep. here. Mm hmm. And that's going to that's be good. the supplemental money. So, so again, I, I, based on that, I'd like to let's I'm at, see where, I'm at, I'm at what's the education so, supplement. Hold on, Laura. We got to hold, hold tight. We're going to vote on the 250. Tier one and two, you agree with the 40% benefits on those two tiers? Yes. 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 So we, got mm -hmm. four, we, all, we have all four. Do you have Laura? You yeah, she got her hands yeah. up. Her okay. hands she, up. She's yeah. tossing okay. it. She's, yeah. Now I want to go back to the bottom tier. You. Just said 250, 250 including benefits, but I didn't see that anybody else. I'm, I'm with it. I'm with it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but yeah. 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 wait, before the vote, I'm, I've asked for what it means in the education supplement. We can sit here and say, that's great, we're going to improve a million dollars. What does this mean? I would like it to know. I think we're going to do the summary after this, right? It reduces, yes, it will mm -hmm. reduce the supplemental. Hands. Right, it yeah. will. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. One, one cent, one penny per hundred, two and a half pennies oh, per hundred. Oh, we haven't got that so far yet. Yeah. So we're going to have that conversation yeah. because we hope to, after we get through the election board, double ask. Mm -hmm. We hope to get into a summary conversation of where we are on the budget. Right. So that we can get some concurrence and direction from council to wrap this thing up. Yes. Right. No, 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 no. The education supplement can't be used for the election board. No, 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 the question, which is one point, we have two scenarios to go through, $1.258 million because of largely the supplemental ask of the Board of Education, how much do you want to pass of that on to the taxpayer property tax through a supplemental educational piece? You know that one cent will give you seven hundred eighty thousand. Right. Uh, we have two scenarios to look at in your packet. One is one cent and one is two and a half cents. But these numbers have not been adjusted. Now, right. now yeah. we have just, now council has just reduced the supplemental ask from 2.1 down to whatever the math down is. Down to show. in the neighborhood of 1.16. Okay, so that we're now between 1.1 and 1.2. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. Yeah. yeah. So that would drive you down toward if you wanted to do a penny. It's more than a penny, it's less yeah. than two pennies. That's right. right. That's so it'd be 1.5. So one penny, 750, right? 780. 780. I was close. Um, the other thing is, we still have to pay for that 190 plus benefit somehow. We can't do that to the education supplements, so and we've got to make sure we've got enough money to, to do that. Right? If we're moving that $190,000 to a health department or social services, yeah, yeah, right? we, 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 we still have to. 
We still have to add the money to the budget. Right, but but the savings that we're talking about, the nine hundred thousand dollars savings, is just um, related to the proposed two fifty yeah. that we're moving. No, through. it's also the one ninety because where the savings are on each tier, four sixty. Well, no savings. Yeah. No, they passed those two. Yeah, yeah they passed. Right. So let me. And can't help me out with this. So we just make sure. So we, if we're saying that on the first tier, we're okay with the four hundred sixty-eight thousand right. plus the forty percent for the health benefits gives you another one hundred eighty-seven thousand dollars in benefits for a total of six five five and two hundred. Okay. I'm bad at math, so you got to double check me. So then, our bottom number, what Frank was saying, we agree, agree with, is going to be a total of two fifty. Just the total of 250. So if you take that 250 plus the 60, uh, 655,200, I'm coming up with uh, 9,500 dollars. A short 900, 905,200. So it's a short of a million dollars. So just like Pete no, no, said, I didn't add the 190. Well, I didn't add the over a penny. We're hair over a penny. A little bit over a penny. Yes. So your new supplement if we if we were just doing per rent 45.9 how much money would we have to put on the education supplement to get to 45.9 um with the budget as it stands yes if we we, we wouldn't have to pass along any additional education supplement because at this point, Laura, um, yes. if you look at... Um, We're on the summary document yes, now. Yes, on the summary yeah. Okay. okay. So these are the summary two document. summary documents that you have. Mm -hmm. You're talking about yeah. the overall budget. Is that, is that the new stuff we just got? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So we might as well get on that and have the conversation. Okay. Now. We're getting on it. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Two and a half. Okay. All right. You want the penny? We're going to look at the penny. Okay, the penny. Right. You okay. have two of them. One's a penny up top. You see education mm -hmm. supplement. Just follow there. Yeah. Right. Okay. And so this document shows that it, when we include a penny for the educational supplement, our budget shortfall is about $1.3 million. $1.258. Yes. $1.258. Mm -hmm. If we were to reduce the budget by the 2.1, if you if you decided not to give them anything, any right. of their supplemental requests. Let's just start from there, yeah. 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 Hmm. And that backs a penny out, though. That backs, yes. So, yep, that backs a penny out. So if you back the penny out, you'd lose the 2.1, the race at, and you back the penny out, we would be balanced. Yes. That would give them nothing. That would give them nothing. Of the supplemental. Under, under, again, yes. zero base yes. budgeting. Just trying to get there. If we were at 45.9, would we need any education supplement to balance the budget? It, no. Even though their budget's going up by, I don't know, two or three million dollars through the current. We have enough extra revenue. We have, enough, we have enough extra revenue to cover. And that doesn't include the additional four million dollar bump we just got last month, does it? No, it does not. That but we are including those in those additional revenues in our fiscal year twenty two numbers. They don't really But it does include the eleven million dollar prior year unexpended funds. Yes, it does. Right. So we don't actually have enough revenue coming in, but by using it the other those other funds, you can balance the budget. Correct understanding that we over budget intentionally to develop a surplus to help balance the forward budget. That's yes. just a strategy that's used. Correct. Right. And um, I did give you also a copy of where we stand with the fund balances. Mm -hmm. this okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yep. And so, because our revenues have been so strong in fiscal year 22, um, we won't, we will end up with a surplus. So our 
fund balance is even stronger than we budgeted. Okay. So at the end of fiscal year 22, we're, we're anticipating that we have about $59.3 million available. And we are, this also does show that um, we anticipate using $11 million. Right. But the result is pretty good. So at the bottom of the uh, budget right overview there, sheet, yeah. on, at the bottom of the budget of overview sheet, yes, the column fiscal year 23 supplemental. And right now it says 2 1 and 4 4 9. Based on what the conversation we just had, what does the Board of Education go to, 1.1 or 900,000? I had 900,000. That's what I thought too. So that's 900K, and then we have to increase the 4.495 by 190 plus pennies. Right. So that number has to go up. Hmm? Are you, so when you say the number goes to 900K, are you also taking out the yeah. 190 that we're going yeah. to get. Right. Yeah, I, I, I just did it like this. I just That's took fine. I just took that times 40%. Yep. Got that number. Not counting that one. That okay. goes out. 250 for what Frank said. Just added that one and that one together. Yep. And got 900,000. If I do that right? Right. So then our 4.495 goes up by 190 plus benefits. What, what did you get the number for the, with the benefits, Corey? Uh, nine zero five, two hundred. The other one, the one ninety. Oh, the one ninety. Uh, two hundred sixty-six thousand, even. Okay. That's, that's, using, that's using using a forty percent. It's using forty percent. Do you think the rainy day fund is keeping up incrementally with the uh, budget? It, it. Oh, you haven't touched that's that. That's a different question. Yeah. yeah. We should have the as, as, as a percentage of the budget. Yeah. It's the same, we use the same percentage. Yeah. It's a, it's a percentage, it's not a fixed dollar amount, it's a no. percentage. Okay, right. good. So the new, the, the new total I have at the bottom now, just in that supplemental line, instead of 6611, is 5666773. 5661.773. Seven seven three, which we would add to the one oh three number next to it to get a new total, I think. So in effect you're taking that that that's close. You're you're reducing the budget by nine hundred and forty four thousand dollars. Right. Yeah. So then the new total instead of one ten five is one oh nine six. Right. Mm -hmm. So the, the basic the basic message that I'm getting here is that if we if we authorize the two percent and plus a penny that we have on the table here that we're authorized to do, that if we uh, do a school supplement as we're proposing in that just under a million dollar range, mm -hmm. that we uh, that we do not need to add a school supplement at all. Or is that where we are? Now, so if, if we don't do a, 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 if we remove, Laura's question was if we take yes. the complete request yep. for supplemental, yes. then you don't have to add I'm not sure you want to do that. Okay. Right. Yeah. I mean, but she does a base for the discussion. Yeah. Right. No, no. So, so if we if we put back in what, what's on the table, the 468,000 plus the 190,000, Back. We'll move that to the general fund. And then the 250. Okay. Uh, so our, at that point, we, any, any of that that's on the school side of the budget, that school supplemental, we, should, we do need to fund through some sort of you will yes. school supplement yes. mm -hmm. yeah. the property yeah. tax. Right. So, so but we're, we're in, the, in the range of a penny, right. maybe right. just over a penny. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. So with that math I just did right now, the top number for the revenues is 1033. Our new bottom number is 1096. So there's only a $300,000 right. difference right now. So that, that's with the one cent education supplement. So to, to either leave it simple at one cent and add another $300,000 uh, for 
you know, instead of 11 million, if you did 11.3, rather than add, rather than add more tax revenue, knowing that we just got that four million dollars, do 11 million 300 thousand in prior years that expended funds, which makes your revenues at top go to 1096, which matches the 1096 we currently have at the bottom. So my only concern with that approach is that as we incrementally move school funding, increases in school funding over onto the property tax side of the ledger, we've seen, we've seen the school budget growth in the last four years from 48, 49% of the budget to 52% of the budget it's going to continue to grow as a percentage of the county budget if we don't fully fund that increase through a school supplement. It's leaving a smaller share of the pie for public safety, for roads, for everything else that we do. And I, so I, I, what I'm proposing is that I know it's a little bit more than a penny, but do it because you don't want uh, th that creep uh, to reduce the funding that we have for all the other county services. You could, and in normal budget times, Pete, I would probably agree with you, but right now people are hurting, inflation is insane, and if we've got, you know, for $300,000, I mean, if it was a couple million dollars, I'd be with you, but if we can keep it simple and say it's a, it's a penny um, for the public safety, so to speak, and a penny for schools, it's easy, and we've got the money in the fund balance, plus we got the extra $4 million bump. So, you know, I don't want to put it all on the backs of the taxpayer when we have some of these additional money sitting in the fund balance. Um, and we're not talking about a huge amount of money um, to keep it, keep it simple. I want to keep the tax increase as little as possible. And the fact of the matter is, we, if we wanted to use, you know, an additional $1.5 million of that $4 million bump that we just got, that we didn't expect, we don't have to raise taxes at all. So, yeah, but that's that's a fiscal that's a time year. bomb. Yeah, that's a one year. That's a one year solution. <laughs> that's correct. It is a one, it's a one year fix, but it's a one year fix for a reason. Because look at how much people are paying the gas pump. Look at how much people are paying. Do we actually, when we know we have the funds, we got an extra four million dollars, and we're already using eleven. Why wouldn't we use a small percentage, thirty percent of what we just got last month that we didn't expect? And not raise taxes on our people because we are in a very special year with what's going on with inflation. Social security so, has changed. It's it is. I just I so think we should have this discussion. I mean, yeah, we were expecting a penny plus a penny, but and but I'm you know with Joy giving us that news of the extra four million dollars, we had no idea was coming. We could hold we could hold off on a tax increase for one year. We could. But then you're losing that compounded interest over time as well, Lauren. So I don't know. Again, it's what's fair to the taxpayer. We can I understand. fund our budget. I understand. Just, I, I, again, my, my, my approach, I, I, I'm, I'm going to stay with Pete. I think you do the one for one. You get the compounded interest. I hear what you're saying, but I think it's a one year fix. The next council is going to have to do what they want to do. But I, I would say do what you need to do now, compound the interest, and move on. So that's where I am. I think, I think this is kind of the time, the only time that we have any ability to do anything with, with the school budget, in my opinion. They're an elected body, and you either vote them out or, or vote them back in if, they, if you like their budget and what they're doing. This is the time for us to step up, the only time when we can debate how that affects the community, and we decide whether to use some of our savings to address a need or increase their taxes to do it. Um, what if we did, because both sides are going up, so I think it'd be fair to hit both sides, you know, what if we did take some out of the savings to offset one of them, maybe half of them, half of it, to reduce that? You're down to 300, should she propose you would take $300,000 out of the uh, fund? Yeah, so 150 is not so really going to do anything. Penny, penny mm -hmm. it's, it's, you know. I, I, well, I, actually, I, can, I, can, I think I just changed my, propo my proposal. I would like to discuss not doing any tax increase at all this year to help the people who have really struggled and are paying so much more for food and gas and housing and all of that. We don't need to. We've got the money. And this is a public session. People are going to hear us say, we have the money. All right, so to do it. 
policy decisions? We do, but we also have some big capital projects that are coming up, and we know mm -hmm. how expensive capital projects have increased. And when we look about, my, I'm concerned about the fund balance in comparison to the size of the, the uh, budget that we have. And when I, my first year, we went through the, the bond rewrite, we were concerned about our rating at that time. We were kind of, we were pleasantly surprised that we stayed so well rated. And if I, and, and if, and if I may just, just piggyback, and that's the next point. If I were to use that four million, it's for those capital projects. Pay, pay the cabinet's building off. Get it done. That's what it's off the books. You know, dump a million on to your new sheriff's department. You know, knock that, knock what it's gonna, knock that down. I would use that money, in my opinion, for those one, those one-time capital expenditures, and just wipe them, wipe them out. Yeah. Do the best. Yeah. If you can't wipe them out, knock them down. Yeah, agree. Yeah, I agree, agree fully. Yeah. I agree. That's 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 the fiscally yeah. responsible way to do this. If you can't if you can't we, wipe we need, them out, then knock them down. We need okay. to pay current expenses out of current income, and so we need to we need to uh, assess the property taxes yeah. to pay for the increase in current. Because those are ongoing expenses. They don't. They are. Yeah, they don't. They don't. They are. Are. Right. So we're back to um, a penny and us using three hundred. So, so that, yeah, yeah. That, that's where we're back. And the proposal I, is to remove the penny for the educational supplement and remove the penny for the public safety. I know, but can we revisit, Laura, where you were? Can we do the penny in the 300? That's what we're saying. Well, right. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not there. I'm, I'm going to stay with the one-on-one. -on -one. You're going to stay with? Yeah. Uh, again, your, your ongoing expenses, Chuck, are... are no, remind me, remind me where we're at then. You're at, you're at a, a one cent, with that, where's the sheet? You, you said one, one cent. cent. Two, two right. percent plus the penny. Right. Right. That, right. Yeah. And we were talking about a one penny education supplement. Right. Right. And then what was on the table was not going above that one penny education supplement and, and allowing that extra 300000 to to be taken out of uh, to pick, taken out, essentially, out of fund balance. Essentially, that's out of fund balance. Yeah, out of fund balance. Right. Are we, are we comfortable with that approach? I, I, I think, I, I think I'm, you're not comfortable with that? It's only $300,000 that keeps it even. A penny, penny for the public safety and a penny for the education. And it's, it's just an easy, it's just an easier thing, I think, to explain to the, to the public. And, and you can still tell them that we are trying to keep the tax increase as little as possible and we're willing to use a little bit of fund balance are we coming back in order the to 12? keep it down. Okay, I, I hear what you're saying. Are we coming back before the 12? Uh, this, so this is it. We, we're trying to get decisions out of council to wrap right. this whole thing yeah. up and present you. All right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Can you yeah. can yeah. can you yeah. give me some some direction on 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 the proposal as far as where you think we should go fiscally, you or you and Ken, on what what we have what you have on on paper offered, and then Laura's proposals. Um, and so I'm kind of in a gray spot. Okay. Because we got four on board. I don't know what you do. That's what I want to hear. I mean, no, we do. They're, they're okay, and Laura's okay with it. Okay, do you know what you're okay well, with? So just yeah, recap he, where we he are. just explained it to me. So he just explained it. Can you explain it one more time? Sure. Uh, yeah. And, and so, as far as property taxes are concerned, mm -hmm. what we're saying is that we're going to raise the tax rate. Um, it includes two percent over the constant yield plus mm -hmm. a penny. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, a one cent supplemental, a one cent increase for the education, education supplement. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, plus. on the table. Right. Go ahead. Plus, we need three hundred thousand dollars from addition, additional from the fund balance to balance the, the expense budget, which we're taking out of us. Correct. The three hundred thousand mm -hmm. is coming out. Of the right. If, if you look at this in perspective, too, oh, okay. what 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 we're okay. what we're doing here is actually okay. less than the rate of inflation. Yes. Two percent mm -hmm. plus a penny plus a penny education supplement would mm -hmm. would actually leave us below the rate of inflation, which is about five percent. Which is about six percent now, plus actually plus seven. Five. Mm -hmm. Well, remember, a penny doesn't equal one percent. No, 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 no. We know that. No, okay. no. It's, okay, so, but but it's it's a little less than two percent. So, do you need a, a raise of hands so we can move on from here? So, I'm, I'm with you. 
So okay. the three hundred thousand comes out of the uncomfortable with, okay. with what's on the table. Okay, so that we can move on from that. That's done. Laura, you're so comfortable. We know, we know how we're gonna pay for it, right? <laughs> you're comfortable with that, correct? All right. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's, okay. it's, it's, it's but very you didn't raise your hand. Right. You're raising your hand. You're raising okay. your hand. Yeah, that okay. doesn't mean I'm not going to say something when we talk about the budget. And not well, okay. well, well, you can take, you can do that, but you agree with this. All right, so what okay. else? Yes. Thank you. What else we got, Mr. President? Good, thank I, you. I, I appreciate it. It's so like I'm, I'm so going to run a crime. Now, what do we need to do? We got, is that so it? Right, that's we what we need to do. Now, now there, so we got out of order here. Okay. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> when do we have a stand? The only thing we have to talk to you about is, is the election board. The election board now has two elections. Election That's boards in here. The day. So they, they've come back with a supplemental request. Oh boy. Uh, mm -hmm. we should, oh we boy. Talk to you about. Okay. Mm -hmm. We need to absorb that if we're going to support that request. Okay. What I should say is that we already built that. So you built that in? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 So in your packet, you have a request to adjust up the election board request that they originally oh, submitted. Oh, because it falls into the next fiscal year instead of the current exactly. fiscal year. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So if you that, that's already been baked to the budget of the summary you just talked about. So okay. the 80, 85000 yes. So that we already got the cover, right? It's already covered. We do the numbers that we're talking about. All right. Okay. All right. right. So, so it'll be a savings in this current fiscal year that will bump into next fiscal year. Right. Yeah. Right. Yep. right. 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 Anything else? No, sir. I think we have enough now to uh, put together, wrap it up, and present you with a budget. Nice. Okay. Right. So we're okay. balanced. Council, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, guys. Um, Council President. Do Do we need to revisit the question about um, the salary request for the library? For upper shore aging, we had said we weren't going to answer that, or have we have we taken the cue of what we did with the county salaries and baked that back so into those council requests? Council will allow us to, as long as the other agency requests don't exceed what we've given the employees okay. here, then we'll apply that. And perfect. We'll be okay with that. Perfect. That that makes perfect sense to me. Yeah, important. We have support. Yeah, I mean, yes. it, it, as long as it doesn't mess up what we just went through the last hour and a half. It doesn't, well, it doesn't, <laughs> So, so, so what I'm asking you, as long as their their specific request does not exceed what you have approved for county employees. No, 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 no. Yeah, it shouldn't. Okay, put, yeah, I'm not. It shouldn't. It shouldn't then go. We should over, be fine. It shouldn't go over what we already approved for county. And then um, we're only talking about about 15 people max, 15 library and and, and uh, it's a little bit. It's a little more than that, but yeah. Uh, we factored it in, so yeah. as long as I have okay, that great. Direction, then we're good. Um, we okay, so council, we'll be back. We'll, we'll be putting together a final budget for your consideration. I'm sorry. Can Lord. I? Um, can I? Do I have a second? I'd like to give you an update on what happened with highway user revenues. We're in a concession, right? Yes, you are. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, go ahead. Thank you. We're not going to be happy. We're not going to be happy. Uh, so here's what happened: the the, the Baltimore City, the uh, municipalities and the counties used to share 30 percent. It went down to ridiculous amounts. We're currently at 3.2%. The, the municipalities are at 2.4%, and Baltimore City is like 8.3%. So here's what they did. Instead of 30%, they did 20%. And it ramps up over a few years. But here's what they did. They took Baltimore City. The full funding for them would have been 12.1%. They gave them 12.2%. So they went above full funding. The towns? Full funding would have been the 2.6%. They went to 3%. The counties, who used to be at 15.3%, were at 32 right now. They only gave us 4.8. We were expecting between 7 and 9. So, yes, it's a 50% increase. So, everybody got increased, but it is so skewed. So, as much work as we've put into this, I mean, it's just incredibly disappointing that the senators and the delegates did not see that everybody should have gotten an equal portion of that 20%. So yeah, we'll see our whatever money we're getting go up by 50%, but we should have been more than double where we are. So I just got that memo last night. They voted it on the Senate floor today. Um, so well, uh, it's thank something, but it's not any Yeah. 
Right. Thank, thanks, thank thanks for pushing that, Laura. We appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, we do. We do. Thank you. So the only do, other thing, do, we, do we know where we are with the core? Did the cores the cores so vote? The cores is uh, they had a hearing today, Laura. Were you able to attend the hearing? What about cores, Laura? Were you able to attend the cores? Did she freeze? Today, or do you know anything about? Where y'all go? Oh, Did you freeze? Yeah. There she goes. What about cores? Um, uh, Johnny did the sponsor testimony. I listened to that hearing. Um, they couldn't get me in, but it sounded like it went fine. He, they, he said that the Senate bill, you know, had already passed and everything. And so whether they move the, the House floor or the Senate bill, um, you know, he did fine with it. I don't expect any problems. We'll have to watch. To, he needs to get to the floor for a vote on the House. Okay. So we'll keep an yeah, eye on it. Okay. Johnny, I talked to him. He said it probably won't get to the House floor until finally die until Monday. Um, but. Okay. The committee hearing seems to go fine. So right. I have one more uh, question from one of the council members and one of the council members. And this is about Tillman Playground. <laughs> and so I love him. if you remember, if you remember, uh, Preston did indicate in a memo to you that he, uh, he, he, he believes he will be getting another $1 million grant from the state. And uh, a portion thereof would go toward a Tillman Playground. I believe it's 131,000. It's a smaller playground, but it's something that I would recommend that Preston come down to one of the action committee meetings with us. Uh, I know you, Frank attends those regularly sometimes. And maybe bring Preston down and have engage them in conversation to help design something uh, moving forward. But as long as I have three council members. Robin, I've yes. been pushing for this playground for over a year, so okay. it's like I don't so know why. It appears that I have a majority of council supporting moving forward on the playground. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That's all that I got. Thanks for zooming me in. I appreciate it. All right. Okay. Thanks, Laura.